Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Media Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Lil Wayne as requested by all of my fans out there, all of my rays of light. I love you unconditionally. Um, so let's get into the reading and I'll tell you what I see from spirit for Lil Wayne from right now for the remainder of 2020 and whatever comes through from spirit so as you know um, when I do these readings um, they are unfiltered and I will just give you directly what I see and hear from spirit so what I see immediately for Lil Wayne is that there is a lot of women in his life I know that he you know he was um, connected with another person and now he is with Leticia Thomas I hope I said her name right Leticia Thomas um, and they are engaged that that's not my that's my understanding that they are an item and there's a lot of people wanting to know like is this a true connection you know Lil Wayne for those of you that are not aware who is he a lot of you may be asking like who is he you know and I always do this in the intro he is a rapper singer songwriter uh, a record producer uh, you name it he's done it all right so um, he's very talented, obviously. He's got bars, as uh, the young folk out there would say. Uh, I, I'm still young, but I don't feel like I'm that young to keep up with the thing. Uh, honestly, uh, Lil Wayne is my age. He's 37 as well. So these, this is just a little bit of background. But what I see for him is that there's a lot of women in his life, even though he has a connection to Leticia. So I don't know you know, if he is into open relationships, but that's the energy surrounding this. Like, I feel like he never can get enough of <laughs> having females around him. And I'm not trying to diss him. I think, you know, that to each their own, but that's what I see. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of women that are, are upset that he is with Leticia Thomas. And I see a lot of women coming forward. When I say a lot of women, I mean like maybe three possibly in the future, if it's not now, and they're going to drop some, some major T. There are going to be, um, there's a lot of skeletons, things that are going to be coming out to the light. And I feel like this is going to create havoc and chaos on his life. Now, you know, Lil Wayne's very chill. He's not about the drama, but drama follows him. Um, and I just feel like, you know, that's what I see right now for him going forward. Now, um, I, f I feel like some of these females hold on to a lot of anger because he is moving on or he's trying to move on or they're not getting any kind of money out of it. Because I feel like in every female situation that he's been in or every romantic situation that he's been in, there's always been a, like spoiling them with gifts with money you know he lives a lavish lifestyle he is uh, a rapper you know he is someone that is is making good money and you know when you're like that you have to kind of question the women that come around you uh and men you know or what are their true intentions are they really your buddies are they really like you know do they really love you or are they more around you because they're using you in some way now, um, I feel like for this year right now, his focus is on his career, um, his album, um, the collaborations, because he's collaborated with like everyone from Destiny's Child to Drake. And uh, well, I don't know Drake, but I know a lot of other ones that he's collaborated, Nicki Minaj. So he's, you know, he's had his share of um, people that he's collaborated with and success. And as far as that is concerned, I feel like there is... Um, there's a lot of that uh, going on. Now, as far as um, his family is concerned, that is what's coming up right now. There is something coming up with, uh, I don't know, is it uh, Regine uh, Carter? You know, his daughter, uh, Reg Regine. <laughs> I'm not good at, at names and I apologize, uh, y'all. I know that y'all are going to correct me in the comments like y'all always do. And I'm okay with that. I, I know her name is R-E-G-I-N-A. I, -I, I want to say it's Regina or Regine. Regina. I'm going to just say Regina. I don't know where I, why I was even saying Regina. I wish I could edit that out because that sounds dumb. <laughs> but okay, Regina. Uh, Regina. I'm just going to say Regina. Uh, and correct me in the comments. I know that y'all will. Carter. I'm just going to say Lil Wayne's daughter. Okay. He has four children, but 
I see something going, coming up with her. I don't know if she doesn't approve of this connection or she is wanting to move away from him. But I feel like there's something about like she doesn't maybe approve of this relationship in some ways. And even if she's like, you know, that's her dad, she's going to support him. I feel like there's some distance being created. I feel like there's other people that don't necessarily agree with this decision of him, you know, but this is obviously his life and he cannot change that. Um, you know, well, he can change it, but you know, he, I don't feel like he wants to change it. So I see that going on. Now, I also feel like there is someone planning to attack him. And again, this comes back to, uh, uh, someone that is very young, but I feel like there is some, some truths that things that he did in the past that are going to come back to haunt him in some, in so many ways. Um, when I get into the energy of Leticia, She's a very attractive model. Um, you know, I'm just looking at some pictures here to tune into her energy. She is, um, she's an Australian model. Um, she is very gorgeous, but I don't see the connection here between her and him. I feel like ideally, you know, she likes the bad boy type of uh, lifestyle, but I don't. I feel like there's some level of magic. Um, I don't want to call anyone out, you know, because I'm always very respectful when I do readings. But a lot of you may be in shock, you know, to hear me say certain things. And I feel like, you know, in many ways, she may be a witch. And I'm not, I don't mean that in a bad way because they're, uh, you know, I'm a witch myself. There's a lot of people that are white witches and they work with good, you know, magic and stuff. And then there's other types of witches, you know, solitary and then go into, um, hedge witches and witches that you know that uh, practice hoodoo or that are high priestess there's just so many levels of, of things like that but sometimes when, when you're a witch and you can recognize a witch from <laughs> when you see one and i just picked that up energy from her i i really do feel like she's very witchy i don't feel like her intentions are necessarily all about love but mainly what she can possibly get out of this relationship um i do feel like there is something about a child so if he's not careful with her, I feel like she could want a child from him. Uh, you know, I feel like it's all about the money. Um, I, I feel like, you know, she doesn't even know what she wants. And I feel like this is like an easy a way to escape from her, her world. And ultimately, I I don't feel like she's ready for a relationship and I'm just keeping it real and people may, may or may not agree with me, but that's what I see with her. I mean, I, I do feel like, you know, she could be using magic in some way. Um, you know, when you are, when I'm talking about ma using magic, I don't mean like you're behind a cauldron. You have to understand this, that when you are a natural born witch, a lot of natural born witches have the power of our words and spells and saying things and just the power of our intent and thinking. And when we say something or we think about something so obsessively, um, there is this feeling like, you know, she's been passed around or like, this is like, um, I just, I can't talk about certain things on my channel, but I think a lot of you get that message that I feel like there is a lot more of uh, kinky things that are adult oriented that are happening with her and Lil Wayne and their situation. If you understand like other people involved in that, and that's all I'm going to say about that. I get visions and things. So like, I don't know if she's really um, even aware of what she's getting into, but there's going to be a lot of that kind of stuff going on. Uh, I don't feel like this is an exclusive type of committed quote unquote committed relationship for him. You know, like I said, he doesn't really worry. And when he gets tired of a situation, he doesn't like people that are drama. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like he has seen the certain level of craziness yet from her. But she is going to snap sooner or later. And that's what I feel. I feel like there's a snapping coming on um, where she's going to try to control him. And he's not going to really be about that. He'll try to buy her gifts, try, you know, try to do things with her to make her happy. But ultimately, um, it's not it's not going to work out. I don't see this relationship being long term. And I just have to keep it real. Even if they were to get married that is going to end up that's going to be a recipe for disaster because Lil Wayne is not about that kind of life with um you know someone like her and I don't mean someone like her in a ugly way or a derogatory way I just feel like she's um 
she's definitely not the type to be tied to one man and as soon as that she has an opportunity to escape and be with somebody else i see that um honestly happening so that's what i, I see with her i also feel like um I see that there's a lot of um, him trying to pacify other people and put out fires in a sense because I feel like he's the type of person that doesn't look for drama, but drama sometimes follows him. And sometimes he does. You know, I know I said in the beginning that he's like a chill person, doesn't really look for drama, but sometimes he has those moments. We all do. And I continue to see scandals and I feel like someone is trying to um, put out those uh those fires and those uh, bridges that he's burned, those embers, so to speak. So um, there's a lot more that he is going to get into. Like his career has primarily been music, but I see him doing more than that. This could be, uh, again, going into like, um, I don't know why I keep hearing building uh, buildings and kind of like building this could be establishments that he opens up like a clothing store or something of that nature. But I keep feeling like, you know, the sky's the limit with him and he's an entrepreneur and he's trying to, so there's investments that I see. There's something about also foreign accounts. And so I don't know if he has like Swiss bank accounts and his money is in another area, but I keep feeling like there would be some money that is kind of like in different countries as well coming to him or him having to travel towards it um I, I do feel like he needs to be patient right now because i i don't get the sense that he's very patient he likes things done very rapidly and there's maybe something that he wants to for it to happen and it's not going to happen i also feel like there are some threats that are being tossed around his safety is something that concerns me because you know he has le uh, reached a certain level of success but at the same time he has made some enemies and i do feel like uh, or you know there is someone out there that is a male this is someone that is living someone that is you know that that knows him and is in the industry that doesn't have his best interest for Lil Wayne I feel like this is someone taller it may be a little bit more thicker like more muscular built facial hair um and may has may have ha has had some kind of a uh, legal issues in the past with the law for possession etc as, as well there's something about gang affiliations as well so I don't know what he is in uh really and truly but i feel like whatever he's in he he does need to be careful because there's a certain level of disappointment here i also feel like there's some suffering even though we see him being kind of chill being this you know um the guy that is you know just a very nice guy very talented but deep down there is some depression there is some feelings here that he has um a sense of loss this year and this could be going back to his daughter or his children where they don't necessarily see daddy like him being a, a good role model or father figure and how their mothers you know um perceive that etc so again i see there's something there with the children I, I don't feel i don't know but there is some kind of disconnection there is a disassociation with when it comes to his children and it's very painful for him in many ways and i don't think that people see that but he does see that and he and he knows that that it's happening and again also like i said betrayal um he's gonna do something or say something this year that's gonna stir the pot it's going to like i said be something that's scandalous something that is done and it's he can't take it back and it's gonna blow up in the media um even more you know um as far as that's concerned i also feel like he's gonna be working uh or paying a tribute to one of the ogs I don't know what him and Lil Kim, like what that is all about, but they keep mentioning her and him. I don't know if he's going to do a tribute to Biggie or maybe there's a, some other connection, but I feel like him, he will eventually will work with a lot of OGs. Um, when I talk about OGs, I'm talking about like people that have been in the rap game, hip hop game for like a long time. And, um, and I see something, uh, brewing there as well. Um, 
I do feel like he has some level of spiritual protection, but again, needs to be very careful this year in particular, because like we see and we've seen a lot of our people are being, uh, when I have to say our people, I'm talking about African Americans, uh, because I am part African American. So when I talk about that, you know, I'm including myself, we all need to be very vigilant, very aware of, you know, people that are around us and who's in our inner circle. And um, if we feel like a gut instinct, because Lil Wayne is very intuitive. Don't get me wrong. He knows things and, and he has that spiritual protection, but I feel like he doesn't always trust it. And, and the message here from spirit for him is that if he feels something is off, whether it's a flight or it is, you know, uh, going to a club or some kind of party, you know, at a mansion with a fellow homie, you know, or whoever, um, don't go if he feels that it's not right or the situation is not right or if he's there and he feels like something's not right something's gonna go down he needs to leave leave you know avoid the confrontations avoid the drama because you know he has a special purpose here on earth and it's his music and it's his children and and it's him you know um creating a legacy which he already has but he's going to continue to do that but i feel like again if he's not careful he could get into some serious trouble down the road and as far as his relationship is concerned he's always going to have his love life is a very karmic situation so there's always going to be women coming in and out you know leticia is not the only one and she won't be the last one um there will be at least three other women that he is you know possibly more um uh, involved with and as far as his children are concerned you know people say that there's only four that we know of but <laughs> um <clears throat> i will say that there could be a possibility that you know he may not even be aware of it and he may that there would be a some other child out there that again will be some shocking revelation to some people and some people not so just you know um i wish him all the best and and um you know, all his fans and everyone that has requested this reading. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, and uh, all my readings are on sale for a limited time only. You can visit the website listed here on the screen or in the description box below. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. Bye.